In today's video, we're going to install Windows to a micro SD for use with the Steam Deck. The nice thing about using a micro SD is that you can easily swap between a dedicated micro SD used for Steam OS and one used for Windows. While running Windows on the Steam Deck may not appeal to everyone, it's great to have options, and Valve delivers. In this video, I'll be installing Windows 10 to the Steam Deck and installing all the latest Windows drivers for Wi-Fi, the GPU, audio drivers, Bluetooth, and SD. I also have a full written guide that steps you through everything in this video to make the process as easy as possible. By the way, it's really quite easy. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you head on over to wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash steam deck, it'll take you to the guide which has all the links and details from this companion video. From the table of contents, simply select Run Windows from Micro SD Card and it'll take you to that section. For the prerequisites, you will need a Windows 10 or 11 PC, a Micro SD Card, I recommend 128GB or larger, 7-Zip is a handy utility for extracting the drivers, You'll of course need a Steam Deck, and you may want to use a dock and USB keyboard and mouse which makes the setup process much much easier. Let's go ahead and get started. From a Windows 10 or 11 computer, click here to go to Microsoft's Create Installation Media page. Select the option for Windows 10, then click the Download Now button below the Create Windows 10 Installation Media section. Once the download completes, go ahead and launch the executable. From there, give it a few moments, and then click Accept to the License Agreement. You will then be prompted, select the option Create Installation Media, USB Flash Drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. Once selected, click Next. There's nothing to change here, so go ahead and click Next again. And from here, select ISO file, and go ahead and click Next. You'll then be prompted where you would like to create the ISO file image. I'm going to go ahead and simply create it in my downloads folder and change the name to windows10.iso. Then click the save button. This process will take a bit of time, so just be patient. Once complete, it will identify the location and file name that was generated. Simply click the finish button to complete this step. Click the link for Rufus. We'll use this tool to create the micro SD image. Once on the page, scroll down until you see the Rufus download link, and then go ahead and click the link to download it. Once downloaded, go ahead and launch the executable. Now go ahead and insert your micro SD card into your PC, and make sure the correct device is selected at the top. And if it is, click the select button and browse to the location where you created the windows.iso image. Click the open button and then under image option select windows to go. From here go ahead and click the start button. You'll then be prompted for the version of windows that you wish to install. I'm going to select windows 10 pro and then go ahead and click the ok button. You'll then see a warning that all data on the device will be destroyed. If you're sure you've selected the correct micro SD card Click the OK button here. This process will take a while, perhaps around 45 minutes or more. We'll use some of this time to download all the Windows drivers from the Steam website. Click the link here and on each of the links listed for the APU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, SD card reader, and both audio drivers. Once downloaded, you should see these six files. We'll copy them over to our micro SD card once it has completed the imaging process. The imaging is still in process, so I'll just skip forward. From here, we can click the close button. Next, we'll select all six of the zip files that we just downloaded, and then right click and select copy. Then select the micro SD card. We'll right click and select new folder. And we'll go ahead and give the folder a name called Drivers. Then double click on the Drivers folder. 
right click, select paste, and copy the files into the drivers folder. With all the files selected, we'll right click, move down to 7-zip and extract here, and all the files will be extracted into our drivers subfolder, which will be available to us when we switch over to the Steam Deck. I'll just quickly double check that the files were extracted, then we'll safely eject the micro SD from the PC and move over to the Steam Deck to complete the installation. For the setup, I have the Steam Deck connected to an external monitor and I'll be using this USB-C dock to capture the video. You can certainly use the D-pad, touchscreen, A button on the Steam Deck itself if you don't have a dock. You can use any USB keyboard and mouse you prefer, but you will need a dock or USB-C to type A adapter to plug it in. On the Steam Deck, we need to make sure that we fully shut it down. I'll press the Steam button, move down to Power, press the A button, and select Shutdown. Once it's fully shut down, I'll go ahead and remove the one terabyte micro SD from the Steam Deck and install the 128 gigabyte micro SD that we just imaged. To boot Windows from the micro SD card, we'll hold down the volume button and press the power button. The boot manager will then appear and I'll select the second option for the SD card and press A or either enter on the keyboard. At this point, the Windows installation process will begin. With Windows Setup available, I'll click Yes on the region and Yes on the keyboard layout. I'll skip a second keyboard layout. When asked to connect to a network, I'll click the option in the lower left. I don't have internet. For the internet discovery, we'll again click the lower left option to continue with limited setup. Review the license agreement and click Accept. Then provide a username. I'll just enter John and click Next. Then enter a super memorable password. Enter three security answers and click Next. For the privacy settings, I turned all of them off. Once done, go ahead and click the Accept button. And I also click the Not Now button for Cortana. At this point, Windows Setup will proceed and will soon be provided with a familiar Windows interface. In the next step, we'll install the Steam drivers for Windows so that we'll be able to utilize the display drivers, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and audio. Once we see the desktop, we'll find that clicking the globe icon on the taskbar that uh, we have no internet. So here we go, click the globe. There's absolutely no internet access. We'll fix this by opening File Explorer then we'll navigate to this PC, double click on the C drive, and then navigate to drivers, and we'll locate the subfolder that starts with RTL, and double click the setup icon, go ahead and say yes, and once it's done, we'll go ahead and click the finish button, and now our Wi-Fi drivers have been installed. Now when we click the globe icon in the lower right, we'll see our Wi-Fi SSID in the list, and enter our passphrase and we'll be connected to the internet. Next we'll install the Bluetooth drivers, locate the subfolder that begins with RT Blue, and double click on the install driver icon, click yes and the drivers will be installed. Next we'll install the APU or GPU display driver, double click on the folder that begins with APU or 220, then double click the setup icon, click yes. Then when the installation dialog appears, you'll see an install button in the lower right. Go ahead and click that and the drivers will begin to get installed. When this dialog appears, click the install button. After that, you'll notice something interesting. The display switches to portrait mode. To correct this, drag the top of the window to the left and you'll see the finish button. Click that and the installer will complete. Now we'll switch the display back to landscape mode. Right click on the desktop, select display settings, scroll down, and set the display orientation to landscape. Then click the keep changes button. I also set the scale and layout to 100%, but this is totally optional. Now we'll install the first audio driver. 
double click into the folder that begins with CS351 and it's not clear which file ends in .inf so click the view menu option check the option file name extensions now we can right click the .inf file and select install click yes and the driver will be installed we'll do the same for the second audio driver locate the folder that begins with NAU and then right click on the INF file and select install click yes and again the driver will be installed the last driver we will install is the SD driver locate the folder that begins with bay double click the setup icon and when prompted click next once complete select the yes option to restart and click the finish button the Steam Deck will then reboot after installing Windows 10, it consumed about 30 gigabytes for Windows and about 90 gigabytes remaining on this 128 gigabyte card. At this point, you have a clean Windows installation on your Steam Deck with all the latest Steam drivers applied. You can now install any Windows applications that you want. It's also a good idea to run Windows Update to get the latest updates from Microsoft. I want to provide a few usage tips when navigating the Steam Deck undocked. You'll use the right trackpad to operate the mouse cursor. Then use the right and left trigger for the left and right mouse buttons. The virtual keyboard doesn't appear automatically, but you can go into settings and then devices and then typing and enable the option to show the touch keyboard when not in tablet mode. The built-in virtual keyboard is not good at all and seems to only respond when you touch the display not when it's focused in a text area. Here I'm using the Chrome browser and it worked very well for browsing my website and the Steam Deck guide. I did install Steam under Windows 10 and the gameplay experience was very good. After testing the 128GB card, my Samsung 512GB A2 card arrived and went through the same install procedure for Windows 10. After installing Ace Combat 7, the micro SD card was taxed at 100% at around 60 to 70 megabytes per second write. Not bad, but not as fast as the internal SSD. And again, the gameplay was great. I also recently picked up this Bluetooth folding keyboard from Amazon, paired it to the Steam Deck, and it works very well with Windows 10. I'll add a link to it in the accessory section of the guide if interested. Now we'll see how long it takes for Windows to boot from the Steam Deck while I mention my closing remarks. As you've seen in this video, the Steam Deck is a full PC and a quite capable one at that. While installing Windows to a micro SD is one of many ways you can extend the usefulness of the Steam Deck, it may not be for everyone, but you can easily just power it off, swap micro SDs, and play games under the very impressive Steam OS. In the future, Valve plans to release an official option for dual booting Steam OS and Windows. When that's available, I'll cover it here on the channel. I also have some exciting additional Steam Deck content coming very soon. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you again very soon.